Hello, my name is Cedric Potvin, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to target Facebook groups with Facebook ads. So I'm going to start with saying that there's no actual way of targeting specific people from a group. So that's actually not part of Ads Manager yet. I'm sure it will be at some point, but right now there's not that magic bar where you can put in the name of a group and then click search and then you know you you find the group that you want to target and then you click target that group right that's not a feature of ads manager yet uh, but there are a few workarounds and a few different ways that uh, you can target people from a specific group so in this video i'll be showing you uh, the two ways that you can actually uh, target people from a specific group so the first way is not really the actually I don't really recommend that one but I'm still gonna share that one with you guys um, which is actually uh, pulling the data from that specific Facebook groups um, and I'm gonna show you what software you can use for that but what it does is it crawls um, that Facebook group and it collects all the different members from that group and then it goes ahead and look at their profile and sees, okay, well, what page do they like? Uh, what is their gender? And any sort of information that we can potentially find um, on their uh, profile. And keep in mind that th that only works when uh, they have a public profile and then they're not private. Uh, but what it does, it really just pulls the information out and then we can look and try to see trends, right? Are people, uh, are the, most of them males or females? Do they like uh, similar pages? Um, do they have similar interests? So it helps you create a buyer persona. And then later on, you can go ahead and uh, under the ad set level, uh, set that as your audience. Uh, but that's option, option number one. Option number two is actually using a video. So you post a video in that Facebook group and then hopefully you get a decent amount of engagement on a video, meaning people actually watching the video. And then what you can do is you can actually retarget a video views. So that's the second way of doing it, which is actually, that's the, that's what I'd recommend. So let's start with number one. So there's actually a website called Phantom Buster. Um, and this is what you can actually use uh, to pull the information um, from Facebook groups. So it's pretty easy um, and you actually don't need any sort of coding skills. That's why I recommend the software. And you can see here under, if I go here under Facebook, Facebook group extractor, and then you can just click use this font tone. And then all you have to do is you click here on connect to Facebook and it's gonna connect to Facebook and then you click save. And then you have to paste the URL of your group. So you go on Facebook and you grab the, the you know the URL of the group you want to extract the data from and then you paste it here. Um, I don't have one so I'm just gonna copy this, paste it here, click save. Um, and then you're just gonna ask you some information here like how many um, and how many profiles you want to extract um, and a few different things like that and you can name uh, the result whatever you want. So I'm gonna call this test and you click save. Then you can just sort of like skip through that um, manually notifications. I don't like notifications. I'm going to set it up to none. And then basically all you have to do is click launch and then it might take a, a few minutes and then it's going to pull all the information and give it to you as a CSV file. And then you can see if uh, any of the members have any similarities, page likes, uh, gender, interest, um, and you can kind of map that out on that CSV. So this is how you pull the information out of the Facebook groups using Phantom Buster. And they actually have a 14 day free trial. So you can go ahead and use this uh, tool uh, a few times. And then after that, they're gonna ask you if you wanna a pay or a free account. I believe for what you wanna do, let's say you only wanna use this tool for uh, what we're doing here today, uh, you could probably just stick on the, on the free account, depending on how many members you're actually extracting from the Facebook group. But I will give you a heads up, if you're extracting a lot of different members, um, Facebook doesn't like that and they'll definitely send you notifications. And doing this with the Facebook platform is actually against their terms and services. So keep that in mind, you know, just try to see if that's worth the risk for you. And that's, uh, that's another reason why I don't recommend this method. Now, second option, and again, that's the one that I recommend, is to post a video to your business Facebook page 
and then you can copy the, the post and then share it inside either one group or multiple groups. And then after that, in the ads manager, we retarget the engagement, meaning the video views. Um, so go to your page, again, you post. So I'll go ahead and upload my media here. Then after that, I would go into the groups that I'm part of and then uh, share it inside those groups. So once you've shared your video inside your group or groups, you might wanna wait a day or two. Uh, and then after that, you'll wanna go to ads manager and then you can create your campaign. Let's say that, um, let's say it's a conversion campaign. Then you go to your ad set and then where it says audience, you'd create a new audience, which would be a custom audience. And then what we wanna do is we wanna retarget people that view the video, right? So we're gonna click video here, perfect. And then you'd have to choose what you want as your engagement. So let's say in this example, I might wanna retarget people that have watched uh, at least 25%, uh, 20, 50, 75, all right? And then, you know what, let's do this instead. Let's retarget people that have watched at least 10 seconds of my video. And then retention, 365 days, that's fine. We'll name this test. Then I'd have to choose a video, which I don't have one in this example, but then you choose the video and then you create the audience. Now, what it's gonna do is it's gonna show your specific ad to the people who have watched the video. So what I just showed you might be a problem for any of you that have a lot of likes and already a lot of engagement on their page, just because the video that you uploaded will get a lot of engagement uh, on your page and not just in their group, right? And if you really wanna target only the people uh, from that specific group and you wanna use that engagement to again retarget them, well, obviously some people that have liked your page are gonna be mixed into that audience. So what you can do is in your, um, in, on, under your ad set, you can actually exclude everyone that have liked your page as part of your audience. So this will ensure that you're only targeting people from that group. But here's the thing, if someone is part of that group and uh, they've also liked your page, that means that they're probably not, well, they're not gonna see your ad. Um, so that's the, that's a downside. So really ask yourself this question. Do you think that the people that are part of this group have also liked your Facebook page? Because if they did, um, and then you exclude them as part of your audience, they won't see your ad. But I honestly think that it's not the end of the world. Um, you might, depending on really what the goal of this campaign is, if let's say you're, it's a conversion campaign, uh, even a traffic campaign, I mean, why not include the people that have also viewed your video, but that are they viewed your video because they like your Facebook page, right? That's also a really warm audience. Um, so I, honestly, I would leave it be, but if you want to really just target people that have viewed the, your video from the uh, Facebook group, then you can just uh, exclude people that have liked your page as part of the audience. So hope this makes sense, uh, but this is sort of the workaround. This is how you can do it. Um, again, the preferred way is uh, with the video, but I'm sure in the future, Facebook will come out with a way that you can retarget people from specific groups if you are the admin of the Facebook page. That's why I think that uh, people should definitely look into starting their own groups because I definitely think that later on, if you're an admin of that group, Facebook will let you uh, retarget uh, these individuals or even better create lookalike audience so you can reach more people exactly like the people that are in your groups. So guys, again, recap of this video. Option number one is you use something like Phantom Buster, collect the data from the, the groups, right? Collect the, the users, uh, like information, like their interest, their page likes, so you can sort of build a buyer persona and understand what sort of interest you can potentially target uh, in your ad sets so that maybe they'll see your ad. But again, it's not really guaranteed, it's not really accurate, again, not the preferred way. Or option number two is you post a video inside these groups or that specific group that you wanna target and then you retarget the engagement um, as I just showed you. So those are the two ways. Um, if you haven't already, please uh, give this video a thumbs up. If, I mean, if you enjoyed the content, obviously, and uh, I strongly recommend that you subscribe to this channel because we release the videos just like this one every week. Bye.